As a Hmong person, there's a lot of eyes on you, but no one really knows who you are. If you ain't got nobody to look at, you can look at me, man. Uh, do it for the people. Hands are good. Don't get me wrong. The hands aren't just here. They're here too. I didn't have a mentor growing up. Um, I didn't, especially a Hmong mentor. I am the best defensive lineman in the entire league. Uh, mark my words, snap that, do whatever you want with that. So tell your mama, your grandma, your auntie, your uncles. Growing up in the streets uh, of good old Eastside St. Paul, I didn't grow with the best crowd, so I didn't see the best people. Witness made me grow into a person who, when I was younger, would admire and would love to have as a role model. The Hmong community gave me a platform where I could competitively still play football. The emotions, the happiness, the sadness, we all get to share it here at Witness. The first class I ever had was to Rutgers and Utah State and some of the Power Fives. I didn't know anything about Hmong. I read them in books about, about the culture, but as of interacting with a, a Hmong individual, never happened. It might just be football as in the beginning and you realize, oh, this person likes fish and you go fishing with this person. You got a, a family member for the rest of your life. I love Hmong sausage. I love purple rice. I love sticky rice. The sport itself is very valuable to the community. Witness to me is, is family. It's more than just football. When I came around that corner, I saw that line. To get in J4, I was like, oh no, this is this is something totally different right here. So I've been charging those uh, J4 uh, pre-sale tickets, man. Y'all, y'all doing God's work. <laughs>